Hi guys, it's Kate. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a 3D pen. I'm going to be taking you through one of the stencils in my beginner 3D pen tutorial, which I will link in the description. So this is just a basic uh, review of how to use any 3D pen. I have a whole variety of 3D pens that I've all purchased myself off of Amazon. This is not a sponsored post. And all of the pens are very similar in terms of their function. So once you've worked with one, you'll be pretty easily able to figure out another. You can check out my full review of all of these 3D pens and find out which one I think you should purchase uh, in the link in the description. I'll link to that review video. But for this video, I'm just gonna be going through basic 3D pen features and how to get started with a 3D pen. So let's start off with the power source. So you do need to plug in your 3D pen. There's a few 3D pens that are battery operated. Those are meant, mainly meant for younger kids and they use a special type of filament. But any uh, 3D pen using PLA or ABS filament typically requires a power source. So first you plug it in and then you're gonna want to select what type of filament you're going to use. So in this case, I'm gonna go with PLA and my target temperature is gonna be 175. And so I'm just gonna press the forward button here and it's gonna start heating up my pen to get to that temperature. So this is the MYNT 3D pen. All of these other pens have similar features with LCD screens where you can click between PLA and ABS. This one, the Super Pen, actually you have to pull open this little compartment here to be able to select between PLA and ABS. Um, but Jenna and for the um, three doodler, it's a toggle here on the side, but generally they all have some way of selecting which type of filament you're gonna use and the temperature setting. So then there's a few other buttons to know about on these pens. So there's your forward button. These pens work like um, hot glue guns, right? So you take the filament from one end, goes through the pen and out this hot end. This part is very hot, it's a burn risk, which is why these pens are recommended only for older children and always with supervision. So this is the hot end and this button allows that filament to go through the hot end and then you can draw with it. This backwards button allows the filament to um, retract and allows you to switch filaments and then there's a toggle on this pen that allows you to adjust the speed at which the filament is coming through the pen so depending on how fast you naturally draw you may want to adjust the speed so you get a nice smooth line um, each of these pens has slightly different features so for example with this one instead of this toggle there's buttons on the side this one just has uh, speed one and speed two and the three doodler has a button that says fast and slow in terms of extrusion. So they all have something similar um, in terms of speed functions. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do once your temperature has gotten to that 175 mark is you're going to want to take your PLA filament and you're gonna wanna load it into your pen. So just load it into the back of the pen here. And then you're gonna wanna press that forward button for your pen to start pulling that filament through the pen. So I'm just gonna hold on to this while I'm pressing that button. Now it is gonna take a little bit of time for the filament to go through the pen. So you can imagine it's slowly going through. And then you are gonna see the filament come out through the hot end. So I had orange before, so you can see that color change going from orange to blue. And there we go, now our blue has come out. So I'll just draw a little bit on my paper. And then after a few seconds, uh, you'll wanna wait a, a good amount of time for this filament to cool, so then it will easily peel off the paper once it is cooled. So I use a laminated template. So again, this tutorial is linked on my website. Uh, I always laminate my paper. It's so much easier to pull, pull off your 3D pen created creations if you use laminated paper. If you don't have a laminator, you could always use packing tape across your template. So I recommend for beginners that you start off with something really basic, like just drawing basic shapes. So let's start off with a square here. So what you're doing with your 3D pen is you want to draw at about a 45 degree angle. And so you wanna just slowly move your pen across the paper and you want a nice 
thick line, but not too blobby or bubbly. And so I'm just gonna keep doing that across my paper. And it's gonna take a little bit of practice because you might at first get a lot of filament coming out, you might get some blobs, or you might be going too thin with your lines. But over time with practice, you'll get the feeling of how fast or slow you need to move your pen. So start off by outlining whatever that you want to draw. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slowly fill in the shape by moving your pen back and forth in a slow fashion. So again, I'm pressing that forward extrusion button here while I'm using the pen. Some pens don't, you don't have to press the forward button the whole time. You can just click it once and it continues to extrude. I do like that for something like this where it's all just in one color and you're gonna be kind of moving back and forth quite a bit. But when you get into more detailed work, you're gonna want the ability to start and stop very easily. It does take patience when you first get started with a 3D pen. I'm just moving it slowly back and forth here, making sure that I make contact with that outline as well so that it sticks together and getting a nice fill here in my shape. So you don't actually draw in 3D with the 3D pen, you actually just draw in 2D and then you can connect your 2D elements together or you can layer on top of your 2D design to create 3D. So I'm gonna let that cool for a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel this off the paper now so you can see with the laminated paper just makes it so easy to peel off. So I already made two squares earlier and now I wanna show you how you can make 3D from 2D. And so I'll show you how you actually connect these pieces together. So I'm just gonna try to get it all lined up here. And then I'm gonna use my pen to draw a line of filament to adjust that so you can see better right along the seam where those square pieces connect and then I'm going to do that on the other side here okay and then it is going to take a uh, few seconds for this to cool, but actually you can already see that it's pretty sturdy just as is. Um, so this is how you actually make 3D objects, right? Is you connect your 2D pieces together. You don't draw up in 3D like that. I know they show that in some promo videos, but that is extremely hard to do and not realistic for most beginner users. So of course you could make your box and then you could put some you know, letters or shapes on here um, to make your fun first 3D uh, pen design. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use a basic 3D pen. Um, feel free to uh, ask any questions or comments in uh, the YouTube link. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in more 3D printing, 3D pen, or coding for kids content.